masking up with the disability community. In summary, in a community, connections are everything. And over the past two years, the COVID-19 pandemic took away many opportunities for the connections that had been built in communities all across our state. For the disability community, many connections, advocacy, and support for people with disabilities and their caregivers disappeared during the pandemic, leaving these individuals both vulnerable to both COVID-19 and a host of other mental and physical health issues. This story highlights their collaborative efforts to meet one critical need within the disability community. High quality, free, accessible masks. Through internal and external advocacy by people in the disability community, the Minnesota Department of Health or MDH created a Peoples with Disabilities Unit referred to as the disability unit in the rest of this article as part of its COVID-19 response. This team provides ongoing assessment, community engagement, guidance development, and other critical work related to supporting persons with disabilities in the COVID-19 response. This story highlights their collaborative efforts to meet one critical need within the disability community. Increased collaborations between state agencies and community partners. In the spring of 2022, Governor Walls announced the distribution of high quality KN95 and N95 face masks. That's when JP Mahoney, one of the leads for the disabilities unit, heard this and immediately wanted to direct some of these masks to different provider organizations that were specifically serving the disability community. For many of these organizations, the cost of purchasing high quality masks was just too high. Recognizing an area where MDH could jump in and support, the disabilities unit swung into action. Lisa Gemlow, another member of the Disabilities Unit, and Mahoney chatted with providers that are supporting people with disabilities. JP connected with staff at the Department of Human Services, the state agency in charge of distributing masks to different organizations. Through connecting and listening to the community for the past two years, JP shared that people with disabilities unit team heard the need for high quality masks among groups in our community. Rachel Garrity, MDH's Disability COVID Community Coordinator, added that having success to free high quality masks is an absolute necessity. Rachel stated that communities have difficulty accessing basic need things like good personal protective equipment and other supplies to keep people with disabilities and their caregivers safe. While the team was not initially sure which channels made the most sense for their mask distribution, JP was able to connect with the Metropolitan Center for Independent Living, or MCIL, who is a contractor and partner of MDH, and staff at MCIL connected him to Trellis and the Arrowhead Area Agency on Aging. These are two organizations with long histories of partnering with the disability community in both the Metro and greater Minnesota areas, respectively.
recognizing and tapping into community strengths. Both Trellis and the Arrowhead Area Agency on Aging are organizations that support caregiving providers in the aging and disability communities. After hearing about the availability of high quality masks, JP asked, Trellis asked providers who offer in-home supports and found that they needed high quality masks as they had limited ability to obtain them. The disability unit worked with the Department of Human Services to allocate 20,000 masks for the community. But still the question remained, how was the team going to get the masks out to providers? And this is where staff from Trellis and the Arrowhead Area Agency on Aging stepped in to help. Diane Graham Raff, Elder Care Development Partnership Coordinator from Trellis, became the primary con point of contact between Trellis and MDH. Graham Raff shared that early on they had distributed thousands of cloth masks to their providers. But as the COVID-19 virus had evolved, cloth masks were seen as no longer adequate. She added how exciting it was to have KN95 and N95 masks available for the providers. Julie Rolls, Vice President of Communications and Advocacy for Trellis, agreed with Graham Rath and noted that masks are not free, and for some people, the cost of masks is a burden. COVID-19 is not hitting everyone equally and disparities do exist. Being able to provide masks is a huge help to people, especially for those with a limited income. Within a week of obtaining the masks from the Department of Human Services, the Arrowhead Area Agency on Aging and Trellis had distributed all 20,000 masks. Each organization focused on different providers in the aging and disability communities. Distributing masks to over 75 providers throughout the state of Minnesota. Christy John from Care Partners of Cook County, one of the organizations that received the masks said that Care Partners appreciates the masks and feels that it is imperative that they had them on hand. The masks were included in first aid kits that we were able to give each new senior rides volunteer. Reflections and the road forward. After more than two years in the COVID-19 pandemic, JP reflects on MDH's response, noting that early in the pandemic, MDH did not have many of the relationships or successful processes for engaging and collaborating with the disability community, and it really hindered our response. It took intentionality and proactivity on both MDH's part to center disability as a health equity issue within its response, and the work by this team has shown that community-based organizations supporting the disability community in Minnesota are a part of the healthcare system and pivotal in an emergency response. Garrity added that the work that we were able to do with Trellis and the Arrowhead Area Agency on Aging 
while it was not enough to solve the support issue for the entire state, it is a model on how resources can be shared successfully within and with the disability community. If other resources become available for them in the future, they can then be deployed successfully following this strategy. Reestablishing supports and a safety net for people in the disability community is a priority for MDH's Disabilities Unit. With advocacy and the backing from leadership, Garrity said, now MDH is moving into a more proactive role and has been able to be flexible and hear from community what is an issue and continue to do our best navigating and supporting the community. Going forward, the team is committed to ensuring that COVID-19 guidance includes communities' voices and continuing to foster deeper relationships with community organizations to ensure that services for support are no longer siloed.